Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kamran, a second year pediatric resident from PMCH Patna and I have done my MBBS from AIMS Bhopal. So guys, in the last two videos, we have already discussed okay, how we should go with need PG counseling and the second is how to make a MS Excel preference list. And if you guys have not seen those two videos, the links are in the description and here too, you can go and watch it. Coming to this video, this video we are going to do something in this video, I am going to elaborate the complete counseling process in front of you so that it will be easy for you to go while you are actually filling your choice preferences. So this is basically going to be a demo for need PG counseling. Now since I don't have a registration ID, so I can't show the website ka page, to dikha sakta, but definitely I will try to show as much as possible the real website page wherever necessary. So let's begin. So the first and foremost thing which is already 20th of this month start ho chuka hai, that is registration. Now see what is registration? So registration we have already done for n number of exams but in this counseling also the registration is almost similar but the main funda is the fees money. For all India seats general category you have to give 21,000 whereas if you are from any reserve categories then you have to give 10,000 almost. But if you have selected deemed universities now you should know what is deemed universities. Basically, these are private institutions which offer MDMS seats. So, if you are opting for DIEM universities, then you have to pay 2,5,000 almost for your registration. Now, see, this is an important step because many students do mistakes at this step only. In a hurry, they will fill all the colleges including DIEM universities also and at the end, they will cry because they don't have that much money for registration purpose only. So be alert while doing your registration and the registration is simple steps. All the steps will be shown on the website also. And if you want to complete detail on just registration, you can also watch Zyner's Need PG Counseling Registration Demo. The link is in description. Now, once you have registered, this will be the first and primary registration which you are going to fill for your Need PG Counseling. So before going forward, let's understand how this entire counseling process works. Now first you will be going for your registration. Now if you have completed your registration, now this is basically round one, round one of counseling means all the colleges are available and you have to give your choices according to your rank and merit, you will get your colleges. Now just example, you have done your registration and now you have completed the choice filling. I hope you are very clear with this choice filling approach because we have already discussed this in our previous videos. So now you have done your choice filling. After choice filling, you will be given a time of a day or two. After that, they will declare the result. Now, once the result is on air, you can see which college you have been allotted to. Now, it's your choice to either go with this college or you can leave it. That is called free exit. Now, if you have chosen any college, like if you got a college and you don't want that college completely, you can very well skip it. You can go for free exit. There is no penalty, no bondation, nothing. But if you have chosen any college, for example, if you have chosen a college just for security and now you do, you want to upgrade your college, like you are not that much satisfied with this college, you want to upgrade your college or you want to even upgrade the department. So in this scenario, you can take, ad, you can take admission in that particular college and you can apply for upgradation. Now how this upgradation works, while you are being admitted in your first college, uh, there they will ask that if you want to upgrade to the next college, upgrade to any other college or you want to permanently settle here. Some people get what they want and they get settled with that particular college. But if you are not satisfied and you want to upgrade, there you have to take that choice of upgradation and accordingly your documents will be available with you at the desired time. So now this is the round one. So In round one, there are three categories of students. First, who has got their desired colleges and they are happy with it. Second, who have got college but they are not that much satisfied and they are willing to upgrade to the better college. Third is those who haven't got any college. Now, here comes the round two. So round two is basically the continuation of round one. Here you don't have to go for new registration, okay. You are already registered and here you just have to do a new choice filling and the results will be allotted. Now in this new choice filling, you can change your colleges as per the results of the first round counseling. We can also discuss it in brief in some other video but here just understand that in second round again you have to go for choice filling you have done the choice filling you have given all the colleges what you want from round two then again they will take two or three days for declaring the results now once the result has come what all can be the possibilities first is you have got the college what you want like you have upgraded you have been upgraded okay you are among that category of student who opted for upgradation and you got an upgradation like in my case uh, in my first round counseling, I have got JLNMCH Bhagalpur for my pediatrics. 
now then i go for upgradation and i got pmch patna for my pediatrics so in that case i have got my upgradation and i got admitted and that is enough now if you have been admitted to one particular college and you have upgraded you have opted for upgradation but unfortunately results does not show any upgradation then you are bound to take that college for your future okay so in second round if you got any college and you didn't opt for it that means you are barred from further counseling now this is an important fact if you don't take any college which you have been allotted in your neat pg second round of counseling then you are not eligible for mop up rounds or stray rounds now if you have not been allotted any college in first round and in second round also you were unfortunate and you didn't got any college in round 2 also now in that case you are eligible for round 3 that is mop up round now see mop up round is little bit different from the previous ones because in mop up round you have to go for new registrations now after this new registration you have to again go for choice filling with the available colleges and seats and after that again the results will be declared and you will get a particular college and if you got any college in mop up round you have to take that college and if you didn't take that college you are again not eligible for the stray rounds but if you didn't got any college in mop up also then you are eligible for stray rounds so this is clear the most important thing that matters is the dates you have to be very clear with the dates of all the rounds of counseling all the rounds choice filling and new registrations and seat allotment results because almost all state colleges have bond system and in bond system if you got admitted to one particular college and you skip that particular time duration of bond maturation after that you can only change your college after paying a high amount of money so that's why i always say that before choice filling get your preference list ready because all this time you will be in hurry and confusions there will be many date change and all because you have to accept the fact and in every year almost like uh, every year almost there are some kind of discrepancies in all these process not during my time when i opted for second round of counseling and the results were out after that they again conducted the entire counseling process that is choice filling and seat allotment for a second time just because some institutes were not able to provide their seat list to the mcc so these type of things can also happen at your time no doubt so there can be some other scenarios which can be new for you so at that time feel free to contact or dm me but make it very clear that if you have your things ready with you like your preference list and everything then you are not going to get confused with any of these now one thing that i would like to mention here that in spite of doing all this research work and all there are many cases where people don't get a particular college or any college for that matter in their md ms so don't be disheartened because it's not the last time that you are opting for this counseling process you still have many chances for appearing in exams do better in exams this counseling will be simple for you because this counseling hustle is difficult only for those who have got that borderline rank because they have to look for different colleges and their availabilities but if you got good rank then all these problems will be solved you will get the best department in the best college so the next point is once you have got the seat and you have been admitted to your particular college now in mcc schedule there is also mentioned that you have to report to your college in that particular time uh, in almost 4 to 5 days so many students ask that can we can join the department one to two weeks after the admission because i know that entire uh, preparation phase exam phase and counseling phase are tiresome and we need a break we need a break and we deserve it and we all know that once we get into the mdms the first year is going to be held tires you hardly get in time for yourself but all this depends on the state in which your college is because in some states they have the liberty and they don't bother if you join to a week or two uh, late after getting admitted like in my college but there are states also who are very adamant with these states and they will not accept or and they can impose sorts of difficulties on you if you don't report on time so you can ask from your seniors get a clear idea about if you can skip or if you can join 2 to 3 weeks late from your admission date this was the complete neat pg counseling process so i wish all the best to all the dear aspirants and i wish you get your dream branch in your dream college and how to go on with first year pediatrics i can make it simple for you in upcoming videos so stay tuned and keep watching my channel thank you so much